What's up everybody? Welcome to Metal Remains Backstage. This is Manuel from Madrid. We have Carlos in New York and joining us is Belzebub from Mystic Circle. Hello. I'm honored. Thank you for being with us tonight. How are you at this moment? Yeah, it's pretty hot in Germany, but we are very well at the moment. We are very inspired by our new stuff, by the music, by the band. So, And I'm very honored for this interview. We have a much um, appreciated channel. Thank you. So, yeah, thank you for that interview. Oh, thank you very much. For your interest. We're, we're thrilled to have you here. Yeah, yeah, thank you for making time for us. We are honored as well to have you here. Uh, and um, here at uh, Metal Remains, we are always on the lookout for new music. Uh, so please share with us what you have been listening to lately. <laughs> um, I'm pretty much old school. Uh, at the moment, I listen to the latest Iron Maiden, also um, some hardcore stuff, pretty much heavy metal. What we are really looking for is not not the music because we we uh, when uh, my partner and myself uh, go to two concerts in the next time and that's possessed. Okay, good. The great possessed and the great nice. these side. Nice. So we are, but we are listening to every kind of extreme metal. Okay, so not not much metalcore and deathcore and newer stuff, right? Well. Um, I'm more old school in that thing, so um, we grew up with the old ways of hardcore, New York hardcore, Gorilla Biscuits, Agnostic Front, Circle Jerks, the Ramones, uh, punk mm -hmm. stuff, um, yeah, but also heavy metal, right. like rock music, like ACDC with Bon Scott, and so, yeah, um, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm 31 years old now, so, uh, uh, 51 years old, so... <laughs> We have a long way in the rock. Movie. But 31 at heart. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> great. Great. Yeah. Um, your latest offering, Ezra Damon, uh, Ezra Damon, was released recently in March of 2023. How does this album represent the current state of the band? Um, I would say... As I said before, we are very inspired at the moment and we produce uh, music. Blackwall and myself produce music every time, you know, the whole year. So uh, we brought out like, yes, uh, last year the, the Mystic Circle album, but we worked straight after this on the new one. So we went straight there in, in the studio to... Uh, uh, to record at Stimon. And um, um, our goal is three albums in three years. So the next album is also the de in, uh, the demos are, are ready so far. Great. We wait till we go in the studio awesome. in autumn, maybe, yeah, for part three. Yeah, um, I would describe the first part, the Mystic Circle album was very brutal, very dark inspired. And the Ads Demon is a continuation in that way that we use more horror stuff now, more horror soundtracks and more um, classical he heavy metal licks, but played in a disharmonic way. I think it's a development. Right. Yeah. We go in, in, the, in that goal where we want to be, and that's extreme music with really brutal and dark and bombastic stuff. So, yeah. We are on your, our way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. And that's, awesome, that's awesome. something yeah, we... Yeah, we're, that, we are going to be looking forward for the next album as well. Yeah, we listened to the latest, and we uh, something I noticed personally. I liked how um, clear it is. It's not muddy or too over processed. It's very clear. You can perceive the emotions, the uh, guitar licks, as you mentioned. So that's something that speaks to me a lot. Yeah, um, yeah, you're completely right, and that's the way we want to produce our stuff because I think. Uh, uh, as I said, we come from the heavy metal, from the old stuff, but play extreme music. We love extreme music. We love old death metal like D side, and we compare it with the heavy metal way. And we love these productions because we think in our brain when we write a song, we we are in that clear, brutal, in the face sound. So yeah, mm -hmm. yes, definitely. It's very it's very intense and uh, it's very energy driven. Uh, yeah. You feel like. Energy, uh, energized when you're listening to that album. It's great. It's 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 very well done. 
and 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 that is the goal, you know, to uh, to to play with different things, with brutality, but also with the bombastic of the horror soundtracks or something. So yeah, we try to work it out because right. we are very we are very big fan of soundtracks also, yeah. and uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, let let's say when when we start to write the album and we make the demo versions, um, we we have we feel like a painter, you know. It's like when when you paint a picture, you first have have the script and you have mm-hmm. an idea, and then it goes on and on till the end. And then you have the full colored version. Yeah, so, yeah that's yeah. right. A wonderful, right, wonderful right, example. Right. Developing those ideas is always fun. Is there a song in particular that has a special meaning to you uh, from from that album? Oh no, because we try to do all of this each each eight or nine songs on this album uh we, we, we try to set high standards so um we want to have the 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 listener um not only pick up one song um um rather uh, uh, listen to the album from the beginning till the end because it's not a concept album in that way, but I think the spirit and the, 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 the vibration of this album is from the first part till the last note. So that's the most honor yeah, of, well, for yeah. us when, when, a, when, a, when a guy or when the listeners or the supporters likes the whole album on that. Yeah, or only this song or these two songs, but the rest is shit, you know? <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the way music is supposed to be listened to. You are supposed to listen to the entire album and not only singles or selected songs. Yeah. So when I listen to a good album, for example, I mean, I like the new Iron Maiden album. I listen from the first note to the last note. If an album is shit then, and only one song is good, then normally I don't buy it. Or I, I'm a, I like these concepts of an album. So. Yeah, me too. I I don't listen yeah. to yeah. songs. Uh, I always listen from start to finish. Even though I'm not an intro guy, uh, many people know this. I I tend to <laughs> to avoid intros, but uh, I do love to listen a whole album. I think it's the best way to do it. Mm. For us, it's uh, this this intros between Absolutely. are a con- continuation for the next song. So we have this. We want to have this flow inside, mm-hmm. not this abrupt stop. So it's like, oh, it goes out of a song and then it goes mm-hmm. into another song. That's why I mean, yep. listen from the first note to the last note. And how does this uh, mm-hmm. transcribe All right. to... Um, All right. How will this transcribe to your live performances, if, if there will be any? Yeah, um, first of all, we don't play live at the moment. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Hundreds of sh- mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, we played in the past. We played hundreds of shows, and we were really tired of this. I'm, I was tired of playing live because, um, yeah, I think uh, back to your question. We speak about this live thing at the end of the year, and then um, we only do it when we are hundred percent behind it. That means when we can bring hundred percent full show, full power to the audience, and uh, we have a concept for this, and we don't know. Maybe we can do it. Because there will be lights, there will be stage, stage track receiver. Magic. There will be, hopefully, yes. <laughs> so we, we have some pictures um, <laughs> in front of our eyes, but we, we don't know. We, we hope to, to, we can realize it then when we come back because uh, it's a goal for us, mm-hmm. for a, a challenge for us, and it's, we want to we wanna bring our supporters the full visual effect. Like in the videos or right, on right. CD, so yeah. Yeah, try to. We, we talked about it. You can try to record it for em- everybody that won't be present. I think it's going to be something very special. Yeah, it has to be. It has to. It's be- f- first of all, it's very special for us, for for my partner and myself. It's very special, and uh, it should be mm-hmm. a very special moment for for our audience, for our supporters, and yeah, it's a big thing because. When we do it, or if we do it, we don't want to um, disappoint anyone. So, but I don't think we will. Right, <laughs> if we right. say yes, we, we do it. We work on it. I'm sure you don't. You won't. Full power. <laughs> right, right. We hope to see that vision alive. And when we do, I'm pretty sure people is gonna be completely happy about it. Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully, we can meet lots of people uh, live from all over the country because. On Instagram, on the social media, we get lots of emails and 
we are always in contact and we love to to be in contact with with the with the metal community so maybe it will it w- will be a good idea to come back live so we will see all right great great um how do you see the response from the community now that you were talking about the metal community how do you see the response from the community to the new album it's a good one people go with us the most most of the people go with us because um it makes me real um it makes me real happy when people when people or someone understands what we mean with it when when someone somebody listens to the album mm-hmm. and then he talks us yeah uh, i love this concept um The, the cover artwork fits into the music and I know what you mean. And, uh, you're big fans of this dark stuff. And uh, yeah, because we, we give lots of details or we try to give lots of details also for fans who are involved in the scene and, and in this dark stuff. So yeah, so the responsibility, uh, the, the responsibility, is pretty good from the Mystic Circle album to at them on it's pretty good great 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 that's great yeah. um, your music videos are very intense what is your creative process when planning them ah, it's an easy way we have um, some ideas of a theme we want to um, write about so then it comes to a demo status mm-hmm. demo status we, we uh, black boy and myself have uh, go in his studio and we record the drums the guitars and the bass lines And we know where the keyboards are, and yeah, and and we do the singing, and then we 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 meet with our uh, producer, and then uh, it goes to the final, <laughs> to the to the final um, uh, record, to the final recording or the final act. So um, yeah, for us it's no problem to write songs. Mm-hmm. As I said, we have the ne- the demos for the next album, and we also have two or three songs for the album after this. That. So. <laughs> we don't know if it if, if it's coming out, but we have the ideas and uh, we have lots of other stuff to do now. So we are not lazy, even we don't play live. There's there are lots mm-hmm. of things coming in the next time. All mm-hmm. the re-releases from uh, the Infernal Satanic Versus right. album, and yeah, and some other stuff is coming. And when it comes to music videos, can we look forward All right. for more? Yeah, it's funny because. Uh, I met what is um, on Monday. I met with with Blackwall, and we talk about it. We have always the same thoughts, <laughs> so we we said we we make another music video maybe in autumn. We try to do it. We try to do it. We have to discuss mm-hmm. it, but yeah, it will come for the ads them on one more. All right, great. Wait, we love those videos, and let's hope there is there is going to be one more. <laughs> yeah, it, it it will be one more, I guess. As I know us, we will be take one more. Okay, <laughs> that's that's great to hear. That's yeah. great to hear. Um, the music industry has changed a lot since the band started in, in the early '90s. What is your view on its current state? Well, it's like you don't sell much anymore. So uh, mm-hmm. I'm glad that we don't want to that we don't. don't uh, Earn uh, that we don't want to live, uh, must live from the band. So we can do it now easy. We can do our records, we can do our videos, but there is no stress in us. But I think for for musicians who want to pay, must pay their rent from it. Uh, it's very difficult. Very difficult. Yeah, it's mu- it must be an Even extra for, stress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and uh, uh, um, yeah, you know, there's a big when, pressure when, there. <laughs> many people think you you. Uh, Music, lots, lots, lots. No, no. Uh, when when you do in the 90s, you you sell maybe I don't know 20, 30 thousand copies. But now you sell two thousand or something. Even if you're not mm-hmm. big enough, you know, Mystic Circle is not the biggest band. So the, the music industry has changed. It's another gener- generation. Yeah. But pff, not all is bad because I mean you you have uh, more technical. Um, uh, uh, more technical things like uh, you can record more easy uh, you have the youtube channel you can you can promote yourself um, <clears throat> and um, yeah and you have us but it's completely diff- and you have yeah of course <laughs> you have the interviews so we we can chat and uh, the community is also it's a new generation and it's a good generation because um, the new generation is more open minded <clears throat> than back in the 90s so Yeah, everything is okay for us. All right, all right. Yeah, um, I will say the 
community, as you were saying, is more open to listen to different styles of music. And that's beneficial for bands who like to experiment and try new things. Uh, but on the other side, you have this uh, other problem that people is not buying the records. They prefer to uh, streaming services and things like that. So, uh, yeah, it's a very tough situation. Mm -hmm. um, but I must say, within the metal community, that is that are the biggest supporters from bands that buy everything, that buy records. And I'm also glad that the vinyl is back. I'm so proud that our records are coming out on vinyl because the cover artwork is uh, yeah, it's better. So amazing. It's better to look yeah. at it in big. Mm -hmm. and Carlos is a, a bit of a collector, right, Carlos? Yeah. Yeah, I love vinyl. And yeah. see this as well, but it's much better if you have the big yeah. vinyl with the artwork. Yeah. I don't like, like CDs, but um, that's my point of view. But um, yeah, I, I quit collect uh, LPs for years, but now I start again because it's so fun, you know? Yeah. I bought the new yeah. uh, Immortal. I have two D sides albums. Um, Black War gave gave them to me. They are very very rare. So yeah, I have a few good great at home. And Black War has let me lie, maybe two thousand LPs. He's very he's completely wow. a whole room full of vinyls. <laughs> of course, yeah, really, wow. really much. Yeah, that's great. That's great. To wrap up this chat, can you share with us one of your favorite? backstage moment for me mm -hmm. i had so much moments for example when we played together with iron maiden in strasbourg oh, wow in the metal 2000 that was a big moment for me great all so right that, were, that was a cool uh, moment then of course um meeting lemmy so envious meeting right. lemmy from motorhead uh, in austria on a festival and also, one of my all-time favorites, um, 1999, we meet the Misfits. So, very only um, Doyle and mm -hmm. uh, Frankenstein, and they, they, they mm -hmm. brought out American Psycho, I guess, with, uh, with, uh, with Michael Craves on the micro. So. Yeah, I, th I think uh, things that happen behind the stage right. sometimes are even more fulfilling than people realize. Uh, because audiences, they see bands as separate uh, entities or groups, but when they come together, they realize that they have so much, uh, so many things in common that uh, that camaraderie is is priceless. Yeah, well, uh, and I must say, these big stars like Lemmy or uh, and I also met, um, mm -hmm. yeah, we met um, also this, this this misfits and and. They are really, really cool guys. Really cool guys. Also, a big moment was um, with with Stigma from from Agnostic Front. He is one of the nicest persons. So, so too much to name. And too much <laughs> yeah, to I can imagine. Really, <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. But yeah. thank you, great, thank you very much great, for sharing. Great memories. Great memories. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that with <laughs> yeah. us. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure some other musicians that have met you somewhere on a backstage or on a concert. Uh, they are probably are going to mention you as being one of those big moments when they meet Belzebu from Mystic Circle. So hopefully we were one of the nicest guys as well. Say something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank Absolutely. you guys. Ho hopefully we meet someday. Of course. Maybe we can go yeah, to that yeah, special show. Hopefully. Uh, thank you very yeah. much for your time, for being yeah. with us. Uh, I want to thank the audience as well for watching this video. Make sure to share it with thank your you. friends so everybody knows about Mystic Circle's current state. Make sure to buy and stream Erz Zamon to support the band. And until next time, stay metal. Thank you very much.